there was a time when women were supposed to stay home and take care of the kids, but it was also wartime. And while military men were on the front lines of World War II, expectations of women on the home front changed as well. They were recruited to run factories, even recruited to fly military airplanes. They were called WASPs, Women Air Force Service Pilots. And while these women broke new ground serving their country, some of the WASPs say they were stung by criticism at home. KTXA reporter Seema Mather has their story. B-25. T-6s. Planes all familiar to the WASP. And it's a sweet airplane. They are some of the remaining 1,074 female pilots who flew for the U.S. military at the height of World War II. We did all kinds of things, tow targets, instruct instruments. 85-year-old Betty Jo Reed might need help getting in this plane today, but don't let that fool you. In 1943, she was an engineer test pilot. She knew the AT-10 inside and out. Once 87-year-old Jan Wood got settled, she was instructing the pilot up in the air. Give me a slow roll and then give me a point roll. Despite the WASP's expertise on these planes, the program was discontinued in 1944 and the women were never recognized as part of the Army Air Corps. And when I heard that, I, I just was so hurt and so discouraged because the war was still on. But the men were coming back from uh, Europe and they were complaining that women were flying their airplanes. The social stigma went beyond the military. Elaine Harmon's mom refused to talk to her. People sort of felt like they're, the reason they did it was not because so much that they wanted to help out with the war, it was because they wanted to follow the men around. <laughs> and um, I think my mother thought I was becoming a loose woman. <laughs> but humor aside, until changes in 1977, these women didn't even get military benefits. They get a fly by us as we're going out. But this weekend is a reunion for the some 300 remaining WASPs. Those were our flight suits. And some of them were size 52, you know. Where Betty Jo laughs about the hand-me-down mechanic suits they wore and pilots with a special bond hug and reminisce knowing they've navigated to a special place in history. Seema Mather, TXA 21 News. Well, one of those